Well, Maryland football is now stronger than ever, and they are finally able to show off their brand new state of the art facility. Max McGee shows us this may be the changing of the guard in the Big Ten. Five years and $149 million later, this is the Jones Hill House, home of Maryland football. The Big Ten Conference is now looking over its shoulder as the Maryland Terrapins are taking the next step towards greatness. 126 individual lockers, a sports medicine area three times the size of the Gossett football team house. Two full length grass fields. This place has everything 24,000 square feet. We're talking about from weights to perch video technology on their squat racks. And then check it out behind us 40 yards of AstroTurf so those players can work on their speed training to get ready for the first game of the year. As I told our team, this is an investment that they made in us and that as a team, this building shows excellence, which sets a standard. Cold tubs are a thing of the past. Here are two 45 foot plunge pools for cooling and recovery before you step out and remember the players of years past. The facility is named after Billy Jones, who broke the color barrier for Terps basketball, and Daryl Hill, who was the first black student athlete to play football at Maryland. This is a point of pride. We talk about inspiring Maryland pride. This inspires pride. Pride that also shows their fun side custom pool tables. A barber shop that turns into a DJ station and recording studio. It's a message sent from the Terrapins in the recruiting battle for the area's best. This place certainly doesn't hurt. All right, now this place is a game changer. We'll start to see the fruits of their labor come to fruition in terms of their investment September 4th versus the West Virginia Mountaineers. In College Park, I'm Max McGee for WJZ.